Welcome back to another episode of Bass and Bell 96. This is going to be another tournament bass fishing video. Uh, it's actually, it's on a local lake. It was like a thousand or so acres with like 30 plus boats. So it's a decent sized tournament for the size of the lake that we were fishing. Now going into this tournament, we kind of had a game plan in mind where we were going to go back into this one channel, but a boat actually beat us to it because, you know, they're a little bit faster than my little 90 horse. So we decided to go start off on a main lake spot and throw some top waters. Little guy, little smallie. Not gonna do it. Got one. Good one. Good one. Big one, dude. Stay down, stay down. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's a rock he snagged in the freaking side. Oh man, I thought that was a big one. Thanks for making me want to kill myself, rock bass. Do you got, is it a rock bass? Or? So as you can see, the first spot's not going so hot, but luckily we kind of start turning it around right here. Good one. Good smallie. Maybe, maybe a squeak, he's long. That's gonna be a one pound freaking keeper. <laughs> Actually, yeah, 14 and a half incher. Oh. <laughs> that is so small. So after boating our first keeper smallmouth of the day, we decided to go back and try to fish the spot we wanted to start on. The boat was out of the cut we wanted to fish, and uh, we moved back in there and we started flipping and frogging. Got one, got one. Probably, okay. probably. Uh. <laughs> it's kind of weird looking. His, his tail. That's a skinny fish. He might keep. It's another like not even pound probable keeper. I feel like I was gonna keep. That's gonna be sad. We flipping. This ain't gonna cut it, but like I said, we take these boys for now. Hopefully we catch like a two pounder back in here though. This lake's fun to fish. Mine just touched. Yeah, like that touches. That's what I did, he touched me. Oh my. He touched right there. He's a pussy. <laughs> Get him in there. <laughs> Get that fucking little rat in there, boy. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> <Rats>. <laughs> Flip in there. Yeah, that was a real good one. Got him. What's in that? Got him. That one, that sadly might be a color right there. Possibly. So back in this cut, we filled out the rest of our limit, but we had two fish that were like barely even 14 inches, and we knew that we had to go call those fish out. We go back to the main lake and we start fishing out deep. All right, say goodbye to this jig. Can't wait for a pike to smoke the f out of it. Got one. It's big, whatever it is. Like a good one, at least. Oh, it's a pike. It's a big pike, dude. A good pike. 
Yeah, his ass. First cast of the jig. Say goodbye to this jig. Oh, yeah, at least she didn't break me off. Got her. Drop her. <laughs> that was a solid pike right there. So I literally pick up my jig rod and I'm like, I'm joking saying like, oh, I'm going to lose it my first cast. The pike's going to bite me off. And then I freaking catch a pike on my first cast, uh, set the jig back down. And Chris was throwing the jig all day and he was catching pike after pike after pike. The drop shot seemed to be getting the bass for some reason. So my very next cast, I pick up the drop shot and this happens. Yes, it is. That's a good one. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should get pop, dude. That is the popped right out. Look at that. Didn't even do anything. Apparently, it's all about the pressure. That one, I to be honest, I didn't get a good hook set though because I didn't even know that that was a bass. Yeah, she's that's like our biggest fish, 15 and a half. All right, now is where the fun begins. This one's scary. <laughs> That one's like barely 14. That one probably weighed more than the one that we just kept. We're gonna get rid of them anyway, but. It's a, it's a pike. It's a pike. Dude, look at the, look at the, look at them follow it up. There we go. Yeah, right. Dude, there was, a, there was like gar following it up or something. There was like a baby bass and like two big old gar. <sighs> if that's a bass, it's a good one, dude. It feels like a bass. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god, that's a good one. Okay, 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 come on, come on. Boom, baby! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby. <laughs> that's a good one, man. Oh, yeah, it's the biggest one yet. <laughs> Should I weigh both of them and just see? Yeah, that's got to be the smallest one. Yeah. All right, there's the cold right there, boys. We got five. Got, we got some good ones now, actually. Little, little. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not, dude. Maybe not, dude. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep. Never mind. Not little. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh. No, dude. dude. That's a stud right there. She's long and skinny, though. Smally gone, baby. We did it. Get her out of there. Dude, we got some good fish. All right, that one's going back. So in the last hour of the tournament, we caught three really nice largemouth for the slag. I'm not going to call them big fish by any means, but I think I did in the video probably several times because for that lake, they're big fish. But we put those fish in the box, got rid of all those little squeaker 14-inch largemouth, and we head into the weigh-in. Second place with 8.5 pounds go to Bill and Chris, boat number 26. Thank you. So we ended up in second place. Uh, we were like a half pound or a pound out of first, something like that. Basically, we needed to make one more call. We probably had like a one pound fish as our smallest fish, something like that. And it uh, just didn't happen because this lake, it's, it's really difficult to get those better bites. Like catching a two pounder on this lake is super hard. And it seems to happen in flurries kind of like that where we got on this deep spot. We were in like 25 feet of water and there just seemed to be like a pile of them down there. And uh, you just got to kind of wait them out. A lot of guys are bouncing around fishing super shallow or even the guys that fish deep all day, they'll hit a bunch of different spots. Uh, I like sitting on one spot and just kind of waiting for them to bite. So it, sometimes it bites you right in the butt and you do terrible because there's no fish there. But uh, in this lake, it seems like every once in a while they just turn on. Like I know there's, there's fish in certain areas. I go and I fish it, I sit there, and then eventually they're gonna bite. And that's just kind of how it goes. And on this particular day, it just seemed to work out for us. But uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. 
I have, like I said, one more big college tournament coming your way. And then I'm actually headed to Texas in like two weeks. So I'm going to have new videos rolling your way. Uh, hopefully getting like one out a week at least like I've been saying so and so far I've been on it this year So thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will catch you guys next time